to be alive and of course thinking about being alive you're thinking about New York City and a time for New York City is definitely the 1922 of New York City and uh, wouldn't you know it that's when our movie takes place for today it is the movie of the great Gatsby Apparently they make a new Great Gatsby movie once every 25 years or something like that. Personally I don't know which the definite version is and I haven't seen all of them. And to be frank I haven't read the book either so I don't know how faithful this one is to the original. But the story is in the 1920s in New York City Gatsby uh, hosted the most lavish parties in town and he was a legend and he's also a very reclusive person which not many people know that much about they just come to his parties for the booze and the entertainment and the girls and uh, also for the glimpse of meeting the man himself and our narrator and not Peter Parker slash Spider-Man in this case Tobey Maguire uh, is attending one of these parties and he strikes up a relationship and a friendship with Gatsby who, all, who will always call him old sport. These parties are not thrown in any way to you know, uh, please Jay Gatsby's ego or anything, anything like that. No, it is so he can get the only thing his money have never been able to buy from him. The love of the woman of his life, Daisy Buchanan. Now she is at the moment living with husband Tom Buchanan, a person in the shadier spectrum of the movie characters but uh, never mind about that we'll figure that one out later now, once, once Nick finds that out he tries to be some sort of a sort of matchmaker to them and try to bring them back together and this is basically our movie I haven't read the novel for the great Gatsby and I haven't watched the other versions of the movie so this was in all my first contact with the concept of the great Gatsby so what do I like I like New York Everybody who know, have seen these videos a little bit knows that I love New York, so good points there. Now it's 1920s, so it's gonna be the era of New York I love the most. The, the style of the clothes, the style of the buildings, all of these great stuff. Who's directing this one? Ah, it's Baz Luhrmann. That means it's gonna look absolutely amazing. Now as casting goes, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Because I absolutely love Leonardo DiCaprio as Jay Gatsby. His introduction is one of the most epic and brilliantly done ever. I'm not that thrilled about Tobey Maguire. I have a big problem with him as Spider-Man and for, for that reason I kind of have a problem with him in most movies I've seen. Except I like him in The Good German. I like how when he beat up George Clooney all those times and I was really angry about everything. That was fun. But then we have the big anchor, the huge anchor that is tied to our wrist and is dragging this movie down with him, Carrie Mulligan. A couple of years ago I discovered that Carrie Mulligan is the plague of all cinematic experience because she is the patron saint of boring. Carrie Mulligan can do one thing very good. She can look displeased, aka she can look depressed, aka she can look sad. I hate Carrie Mulligan. I hate her. I have to give this movie credit for including Amit Bacharan into this movie as a well-dressed party-going kind of dude who you know explains a little bit of the plot for us. I Means he is a great part of a pretty good ensemble of uh, pretty good um, side characters. Baz Luhrmann is to me a bit of a mixed bag when it comes to movies. I love the look of his movies. He makes all of his movies look very grandeur, very colorful, very you know living and uh, breathing. It's like a huge big 
breathing machine that uh, comes to town whenever he goes on. And everything in this movie looks absolutely fantastic from the mines to the cars to the you know ballrooms to the parties all these things camera movements everything set designers it looks absolutely fantastic now i'm not surprised at all they won the uh, two academy awards for costume design and production design they probably should have made it too for uh, cinematography by the way who won that one oh okay fair play i suppose so this movie looks great and it has partially very good acting and partially very good character and it has a story that we can at least you know care for it's it's all well and good the movie never drags the movie never you know loses too much tempo the only thing i really can complain about is the casting of various members of the cast toby mcguire and carrie mulligan being two of them apart from that this is a pretty solid movie because Baz Luhrmann makes all these very gorgeous movies it looks fantastic I think this is a really good movie B because it it draws from such an iconic and modern classic as the Great Gatsby is you shouldn't be surprised that it is a, a good movie so if you haven't seen this one yet go check it out it's really really good personally I wouldn't see it twice it's it was good enough for one run but not for a second time I cannot comp I cannot Personally, I cannot compare it to the other versions of The Great Gatsby because I haven't seen them yet and I cannot compare it to the book either because I haven't read that either. But I wasn't overly interested in reading it after seeing this movie, but I was a little curious of seeing the other versions. I will see them and get to them uh, in a later stage. But um, for now, this is a, it, it is a well-directed, it's well-played, romantic drama about trying to find what has been lost but uh, maybe finding that what you lost may not be the thing that you wanted the most or maybe too much time has passed or maybe love conquers all who knows you have to, you have to see this movie to find out she is the worst of this movie and the, th the fact is that this is the woman that we are supposed to want Jay Gatsby to go back together with we don't we don't she's awful I hate her but then of course you have her husband Tom Buchanan played by Joel Edgerton and whenever Joel Edgerton is on screen things happens now whenever he is playing a good guy a bad guy somewhere in between you know he, he plays these very grayscale characters and it works really well for him because he has this damaged feel to him there's you can always feel that there's a lot more going on here it's grand and it is big and it is beautiful i give this 171 it is very impressive and partially very nice and I, I like the ending the ending is very good this will not be the last time you will see holle this is the last stop on my three island vacation the week strand is signing out